Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials in complete survival. And again, we do like to try and do this the most simple way possible. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the bubble, column, tile, block, thing, whatever you want to call it, in survival 100% survival really easy to obtain as well it's a little bit easier than the actual portal block again it's a really nice thing to actually get because it obviously is unobtainable well should be unobtainable however your boy is on it and we can actually do this so before we get any further into today's video and i show you exactly what we need for this build go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already and again if you've got any questions regarding this video or any other videos the best place to get me is on the discord now if you do not have Discord, you can always add me on the Twitter or the Insta Jam, and I'll be happy to get back to you there. That being said, let's get straight on into today's video. Last uh, episode, we actually got the uh, Nether Portal block. I think I've actually got some on my. Yeah, there we go. There they are. We got the Nether Portal blocks last episode. Okay. So today, what we're gonna do, um, as you know by the title, is get these things. Now they are pretty pointless as of this update because you used to be able to actually place them and use them in certain um, circumstances now you can't even use them they're just a nice item to have and um, as you can see i put them next to my tnt block um just on an item frame again i'm not really sure what we could do with these there may be a way we could actually use them um i just haven't found it yet i mean the old ways that where, where we was able to use them we were actually able to use them in the nether which i thought would be really really epic however they patched it, but they haven't actually patched the way to actually get them. So, the items that you are going to need are as followed. Bring yourself two pieces of obsidian, one normal piston. Bring yourself a bucket of water, an observer. About 10 blocks of choice. It doesn't really matter. I'll make sure they're solid blocks. Bring yourself a button. That's vital. A pr pressure plate. Bring yourself some redstone. You probably won't need 27. Bring yourself a torch. And also bring yourself a dispenser. So first off the bat, what we're going to want to do. One thing I haven't got here, as you can see, is actually a piece of soul sand. Now, I did actually have a piece around, but you are going to need a piece of soul sand as well. So, I'm just going to go quickly grab one. Maybe I've got one in here somewhere. Apparently not. Right. Oh, yeah, we do. Epic. Right. So, yeah, you're going to need a piece of soul sand as well. You want to grab that piece of soul sand for the first step. And we're simply going to place it here like so. So, from here, I'd probably place a uh, holder block just there. And place a block there and a block here. You can then go and get rid of any holder blocks you put on. So I'm using obsidian just for my holder blocks. You probably don't want to do that. Um, again, yeah, we're going to do this. Now, you do not need a haste 2 beacon for this. I'm going to mention that now before we get any further. You don't need a haste 2 beacon for this one. I have actually done this before without a haste 2 beacon. But you will need a silk touch pickaxe. That is one important thing I did uh, forget about the portal video. You need a silk touch pickaxe, okay? Um, although a lot of people were commenting that anyway, which was super helpful. Which, um, yeah, I, I, I just totally forgot to say it. So, um, yeah, this is the first step. You want a piece of soul sand and a piece of obsidian. Another piece of obsidian like so. We are then going to place ourselves a holder block. I'm not going to use obsidian because it just takes ages to destroy. And now we're going to grab one of our dispensers. Again, we actually only need one dispenser for this build. So once you place that there like so, grab your observer and simply place that crouch space and place it facing into that dispenser like so now we're actually going to put uh, our bucket of water in there but just before we do that what we want to do is like set all of this up so basically we want to have a piston here so i'm just going to place a block there like so and then i'm going to put my piston on top like so and then also we're going to need some access for the redstone to actually get to that piston and I'm just going to place a block there. Again, you do not need to use obsidian. And what I'm going to do now is grab myself a pressure plate. Place the pressure plate there. And now what we simply want to do is link this together. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And of course, when we go on that now, that's going to press our piston and it's going to push us. So um, next, what we actually want to do is just bring this round here and go directly underneath that observer. In addition to this, we want to go on top of that observer and on top of the dispenser as well. And I am just going to go to bed so we've got a little bit more light so it's a little bit more easy for you guys to see. 
Okay, so now what we've got to do is grab our bucket of water, button, and our torch, and simply grab our button, crouch space, put it on the side of that observer, also we're going to have spillage, and of course, we do not like spillage on this channel. Now what we can do is go ahead and place our water into that dispenser, and simply place a torch on there like so so what we need to do now is if you haven't guessed already is basically run into that pressure plate this uh piston is going to push us across we're going to break the torch at the exact moment that the water will go in there and create bubble columns at this point we're actually able to obtain the bubble column but um yeah it's a little bit hard to explain so yeah i'm just going to show you to make it a little bit easier so you just want to run into this and basically, you want to make sure you hit that and mine the torch at the exact right time. Again, I didn't do that at the exact right time. So just to set this up again, simply press the pressure plate, place your torch again. And there we go. So now we should be able to get it. There we go. You see that? Um, basically, you've got to make sure you hit the torch. So I was able to get it that time. Let me try and do that one more time to try and get the perfect technique. Again, we're going to press the pressure plate. I nearly got my words mixed up then. And remember, guys, we want to go straight for the torch. So hopefully we can do it. And I don't think I got one. No, I didn't get one then. Let's try and do this one more time just so you've got a really clear idea of what to do. Again, let's go and press, uh, place the torch. We're going to go on the pressure plate and we want to make sure... That we hit that torch again i didn't do that uh, the perfect timing again but i would like to try and do this at least one more time just to show you and you get a really good idea so it's all about timing again uh, i think i just did that on my own i didn't even push myself so let me just set that up one more time again we're going to get this we're going to run straight into here and what happened to the water is the water gone now all right, so the water's just glitched away. I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, um, I have no idea what happened there, but we're back. We got the water. Um, let's do this. So, again, we're going to set this up by placing a torch. We're going to go over to our pickaxe, and we're going to go straight across. And, unfortunately, we didn't do that. We can simply set this up by pressing the pressure plate. And then, of course, we're going to do the same technique once again. And... I didn't get one. I'm really disappointed there. Come on. I really want to get one more just to show you guys. Because, I mean, they are pretty pointless blocks. But they are, like, epic because they are, should be unobtainable. And I like that sort of stuff. So, let's try and do this one more time. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So, you can see that I think, like, the technique is straight going ahead like that. Let me, let me try this one more time because um, I think I may have the technique right now. So, we're going to set this up. Press the pressure plate. We're going to put that uh, torch just there. And I think you've got to be like looking straight forward and probably go for the top of the torch there. So I'm thinking about there. And I mean, this could be just a load of rubbish and it could just be luck. Let's try. And yeah, I think I was just talking rubbish. Let's try one final time, guys. And of course, we're going to press that just there. And we're going to go forward. I mean, hopefully I wasn't just... Yeah, I think I was just chatting rubbish. So it looks like it's a little bit of luck. Um, to actually get these but um, like I said this morning I was actually getting them every single time although I only tried it about four times and yeah I was actually able to get them every single time so uh, yeah it's a little bit to do with luck but like I said you see me get it pretty simply to be fair and it's a really easy thing to make like I said it's, it's really really quite easy and that is literally the end of today's video again um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these I mean I'll find something to do with them Again, if you know any other ob obtainable blocks um, and you know how to get them, please get hold of me on any of the social medias below. And that is literally the end of today's video. So um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, um, leave a like. That always helps the channel out. And I will catch you on the next one.